Egypt is building the world's largest artificial river, which will transform 9,000 square kilometers of desert into a new Nile Delta, helping feed its exploding population. Between 1920 and 2020, Egypt's population multiplied nearly eightfold. As of 2023, it now has over 113 million people, making it the most populous country in the Arab world. This number is only growing. By 2050, it is expected that Egypt's population will reach 160 million people, 42% higher than today. As a result, over the next 27 years, Egypt must find a way to feed 47 million more people, a population equivalent to that of Spain. Meanwhile, 96% of Egypt's land area is desert. The other 4%, which is the arable land along the Nile River and Delta, is incredibly burdened. Other than the thousands of villages and cities that dot the landscape, almost every square meter of Egypt's 40,000 square kilometers of arable land is used for agriculture, and this area is shrinking. Due to urbanization, every decade, Egypt loses around 2% of its arable land. So basically, Egypt is quickly gaining more mouths to feed, while at the same time losing the farmland it needs to feed them. Because of this gap, Egypt has grown heavily reliant on importing food. As of 2023, it imports more than 50% of its food and agricultural needs, including 96.7% of its wheat consumption, making it the largest wheat importer in the world. Unfortunately though, these imports cost the nation roughly $15 billion a year. In addition, they're unreliable. Between 2017 and 2022, Egypt imported 82% of its wheat from Russia and Ukraine. When war broke out in 2022, its supply was cut off and global wheat prices surged as high as 38%. While Egypt was able to procure wheat from other international sources, this event proved just how vulnerable the country is. And unfortunately, with a growing population, in the coming years, it will only grow more reliant on food imports to feed its over 100 million people, unless it can acquire new agricultural lands for domestic food production. Well, fortunately, this is possible and is already underway. Between 2015 and 2020, Egypt successfully irrigated 5,000 square kilometers of desert into new agricultural land. However, to reach its goal of 65% crop self-sufficiency by 2025, up from 50% today, it needs to nearly double this. As a result, in March 2021, Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi announced the New Delta, a project to build the world's largest artificial river, helping irrigate over 9,000 square kilometers of new land. The new Delta project will redirect agricultural wastewater from the Rosetta branch of the Nile River that would usually flow into the Mediterranean into a new artificial river. This artificial river will travel 50 kilometers along the Mediterranean coast before turning inland near the edge of the Nile Delta. Ten three-meter diameter underground pipes will then transport the water under existing farmland before resurfacing 22 kilometers away in the desert. Finally, another 42 kilometers of artificial river will carry the water through the desert to the massive Al Hammam water treatment plant, which will treat 7.5 million cubic meters of water a day. 125 kilometers to the east of this, another 42 kilometers of pipes and artificial river will be built, transferring additional water from the upstream Nile to the desert. Together, these two sources, along with groundwater that will be desalinated, will be used to irrigate 4,400 square kilometers of new agricultural land as part of the project's first phase. Eventually though, this area will be extended to over 9,200 square kilometers, an area the size of Puerto Rico. This new land will be called the New Delta and will be the largest agricultural project in Egyptian history. Once complete, it will increase Egypt's agricultural land area by 23%, while covering an area 42% of that of the Nile River Delta. The new delta will primarily be used to grow wheat, corn, sugar, and other crops for domestic use. However, it will also be used to grow vegetables, fruit, and herbal plants for export. With its close proximity to existing roads and ports, including the Daba Corridor, it will be strategically positioned for both these domestic and international markets. Lastly, surrounding the farms, industrial complexes will be established 
for dairy products, meat packing, food processing, and preparing produce for export. In total, the new Delta project will cost 300 billion Egyptian pounds, or 9.7 billion US dollars, 5.2 billion of which will be for the 114 kilometer long artificial river, which will be the largest of its kind in the world. Further out, the new Delta is one of several new Egyptian megaprojects to help boost agricultural production, including 10,000 new greenhouses across the country and the Toshka Farm Project, an initiative to use water from Lake Nasser in southern Egypt to refill the dried up Toshka lakes and establish new agricultural land. These projects, combined with other new industrial and urban developments, such as the new administrative capital, a brand new city in the desert, 40 kilometers east of Cairo, are part of a larger initiative led by President El Sisi to boost development and economic growth across the country. Once complete, the new Delta will provide a list of benefits for Egypt. First of all, it will help increase Egyptian food security. The 9,000 square kilometers of new agricultural land will feed millions of people and will help Egypt achieve its goal of 63,000 square kilometers of cultivated land by 2030. In addition, it will help increase exports. In 2022, Egypt exported 6.5 million tons of agricultural goods worth $3.3 billion. It hopes to double this by 2030, and the new Delta will help achieve this goal. Furthermore, the project will provide an estimated 5 million jobs for Egypt's growing population. Maybe most importantly though, it will help mitigate the undesired effects of a massive mega project located over 2,000 kilometers away. On April 2, 2011, in Western Ethiopia, construction started on the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam. As the largest hydropower project in Africa, the dam would cost $5 billion and would provide over 6 gigawatts of green renewable energy for Ethiopia, more than doubling the country's current installed capacity while providing power to 60% of its population. However, the project soon sparked controversy. To fill up the dam's 74 cubic kilometer reservoir, Ethiopia would have to impede the flow of the Blue Nile for several years, reducing the amount of water flowing downstream to Egypt. For a country already facing an annual water deficit of around 7 billion cubic meters, this immediately alarmed Egypt. It quickly sourced the 1929 Nile Waters Agreement, a treaty between Egypt and colonial Britain that gave Egypt the right to veto any project higher up the Nile that would affect its watershed. It also sourced the 1959 agreement between Egypt and Sudan that guaranteed the countries the rights to 55 and 18 billion cubic meters of water a year. However, these treaties are quite outdated and did not include Ethiopia, so it continued construction. As a result, Egypt hinted at the use of its military, and in June 2013, Egyptian political leaders suggested methods to destroy the dam, while unknowingly on live television. Ethiopia was outraged, and since then, relations have been low. Despite over a decade of talks and the involvement of international mediators, no solid agreement has been reached. Meanwhile, the dam is nearing completion. In March 2023, it was announced that construction was 90% complete. In July 2020, Ethiopia began the first round of filling its reservoir, and as of 2023, is now completing its fourth filling. As a result, downstream flow in Egypt has been reduced, further stressing the importance of maximizing use from its limited water supply in constructing the new delta. Since announced in March 2021, the new Delta project has advanced significantly. Satellite imagery reveals that between 2021 and 2022, construction advanced significantly on the 114 kilometers of artificial river and pipes. Additional drone and ground images show these massive projects underway, and in March 2023, it was announced that the artificial river was 65% complete and the pipes were 35% complete. Then, in June 2023, fresh water flowed into it for the first time. Heading south, satellite and drone imagery reveals major progress on the Al-Hammam water treatment plant, 
and to the east of this, more imagery reveals progress on the other 42 kilometers of pipes and artificial river. Furthermore, to the west of this, satellite and drone imagery reveals that hundreds of square kilometers of new agricultural land has been cultivated over the last two years. Lastly, even further to the west, imagery reveals over a thousand square kilometers of new circular fields that have been prepared for irrigation, an area 20 times the size of Manhattan Island in New York City. Still though, this is just a fraction of the total land area that will eventually be cultivated. Over the coming years, we will watch as the desert gradually transforms into a vast new delta, feeding Egypt's population while boosting its economy. If you enjoyed this video, it would be amazing if you like and subscribe to Futurology for more videos very similar to this one. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.